so hi guys, welcome today in my cutting and video game room. Um, at the moment, winter has really hit again with double digit minus degrees. And it's hard to make something in winter, especially these low temperatures um, make something with your inner feelings. Um, I'll show you a short clip and then you will understand what I mean. The difference between spring, summer or autumn and really cold winter. Enjoy. So now you understand and besides that change in their feelings, I can't use my machines properly um, without risking um, a damage due to the low temperatures. Yeah, and there are a few really good projects in my mind. I would love to start with them, but the only thing I can do about them is wait. Today I will invite you for a little room tour and I will share all the projects I have here with you. Um, some of them you can see on YouTube and um, a lot of them I will show you the first time. So, let's go! So, right here you can see my cutting area. I really love the table. It's an old office table of a German police station and this will get a complete makeover. Custom made tabletop uh, and drawer fronts with hardwood and ceramic inlays. The sticker on the side says 1978, so at least it's 43 years old and still in perfect shape. So, nice good old quality. Yeah, the thing in the middle is a self-portrait and the drawings I got from a classmate in 6th grade. Uh, yeah, we were fantasy nerds. Well, and the next thing you can see is my aroma diffuser. I really love this, I use it a lot and I really love the design. It's a nice combination of materials. Yeah, really proud of that one. Yeah, and due to my love for fantasy literature, I tried a little bit blacksmithing when I was 14, 15 years old and I made a lot of those roses as presents and one of them I kept for me. And yeah, here a little project, a picture frame and me chilling in my garden bathtub. Yeah, and the lamp I made out of offcuts from shelf boards and those and the plexiglass I got from a local skate shop that closed. And uh, the shelf I have here is from there as well. And last year I trimmed a walnut tree and this was a present from Mother Nature. I just added a bulb and a piece of copper that the line is not blinding. And this is my first attempt on wall art. It's the flower of life. It's a mahogany frame from an old window and uh, the bottom plate is ash with two colors. So a really high quality wall art. Really love that one. The next one is my personal highlight for the year. Um, I was able to get a lot of ash wood for a really, really good price and um, working with hardwood had a huge impact in my woodworking skills and it's so satisfying to work with uh, hardwood. So I'm really glad I did that purchase and I also donated 50 euros for Greenpeace <laughs> for a better conscience. Yeah, here you can see my second piece of wall art. It's called self-reflection. So everything you do has an impact on the world and yeah, reflect your acting. And due to space issues, I just put it there with hinges and probably one day uh, everything will be covered with little artworks. On this point, I will also mention the artwork I'm working on right now. It's a self portrait out of 2,666 wooden squares and also on hold due to the temperature issue. And the sad fact is I don't know where to put it when it's done. <laughs> and right above you can see my saw blade clock. Uh, the plaque says 2014. Uh, also one of the first things I've ever made. And fun fact, I never put a battery in. And yeah, here is all the thing I'm very proud of. And since I built it, it really got me into playing chess. Um, many different types of hardwood, all scrap wood pieces and yeah, still makes me smile when I look at it. 
yeah, and here's my useless box, um, premium version. Let's see if it still works. Demonstration effect. Oh no. We're good. Don't try it a second time. Sometimes it gets stuck. Okay, what we got next? Oh yeah, this is the shuffling machine from the shuffling machine challenge with a viewer task. So you can give me workshop challenges. Um, and this was one of them. Worked pretty fine. Um, here is some more blacksmithing stuff uh, out of my teenage years. A fible and a fork. Crocodile. Yeah. Oh, sorry little snail. Uh, a keychain pendant. A metal nut. And out of a cake server and a mango core. This little monster here. So uh, this I made for my kindergarten group. It's uh, a hot wire game out of brass. Still works. And I don't know the name of that game, but I saw it a lot of festivals. So I rebuilt it. And here, um, my version of a uh, Assassin's Creed hidden blade. Yeah, was also a very fun project. And the next thing is a fan art. Uh, I really love the three investigators. Listen to every episode and this is a puzzle box. So it works with magnets and it only opens if every statue is in the right position. Also long time ago I tried to make some jewelry. Uh, I experimented a lot, um, especially with forks and spoons. So uh, I created a lot of different versions of rings or uh, pendants. Uh, yeah, spiral one, also pretty nice. Oh. Or here, a super crazy one. And um, yeah, the latest ones are my mahogany peer rings and uh, I still wear them. And the other one is also uh, a fork ring, which I hit it with the welder. So it melted in a very nice way. Yeah, and this is from 2015, my first welding project. It's just a rebuild of a project from Jimmy DeResta. So you see, um, YouTube had a great influence on me. I think it's the right time for a little wisdom. Dissatisfaction is an opportunity for change. And if you have a vision or a dream, just do it. So this is also a nice recycling project. It's from an old longboard. Um, these are hinges of a door and these are parts of an old window. And I think these were hinges of an oven. And with the wheels I built a bell sander. And my wooden yo-yo to pass the time when I'm waiting for something. And this is my uh, phone case. Sadly I broke it, but I just still keep it here. And... Oh yeah, my custom-made workshop apron inspired by Adam Savage. Pretty useful to have all the important tools uh, on you. I should definitely wear it more often. Had a really good time making it. And the next thing is my wooden elven sword. Um, it is a birthday present for a good friend. But due to Corona um, it's still here. But one day I will give it to you and yeah, until that moment it lives on my uh, mirror cabinet. Um, the mirror I found on the junkyard and um, the lumber for the uh, wooden frame I found on the highway parking bay and I had to take it with me. Oh and I almost forgot my uh, lamp where I use different plywood patterns and this should be my second YouTube video but I fucked up the files so um, it never got there. Um, yeah, really like it. And yeah, I think that's it. 360 degrees through my cutting room. Now you know me a little bit better. Uh so yeah, thanks for watching. That's it for today. 
I am happy that Crafton has become a part of my life. And I am very grateful that I was able to set up my workshop and fulfill my dream of life so early. Thank you to all 255 unknown subscribers for accompanying my work and wanting to be part of it. Thank you, danke schön, and have a nice day. I'm out.